Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Quicken Online. In this segment, we're going to look at the Transactions tab. Now, over here on the left, we have an account summary, shows your total, then a breakdown of the accounts. Down here is a cool feature, it's called Popular Questions. Should I change my cleared transactions? Should I assign more than one category to an amount? Good questions that provide excellent information for you, and they're right there, very handy. Now across the top, you can see that you can show transactions for the last 30 days. If you click the drop-down menu, you can go back to the last 60 days, last 90 days, last 120 days. You can go month to date or year to date. Then here you also have calendar tabs, so you can go back to March or last December and see your transactions with clarity. Now here in the center are your cleared transactions, the date of the transaction, what account it took place through, if a check number is involved it appears here, then you also have your payee. Here you have a category. Now here's choose a category. You can click that, click the arrow, these categories are supplied for you. You can select a category. You can also go in and add a category and remove categories that you don't want, add categories that you do want, so it's completely customizable for your needs and your tastes. And then here is the amounts of each transaction so that you can clearly see exactly what your spending is doing and where all of your transactions are. And I love the fact that you can go back so far. Your bank may only keep things for 30 or 60 days, but here you can go back for a long time and find exactly what you want. The Transactions tab in Quicken Online. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all 10 parts.